Have you ever dreamt of humanity getting in more power, becoming a super intelligent being, and managing your own destiny? While now it is a vague dream, multiple theories are coming to light. According to the Kardashev scale, different levels of civilizations can come into existence in the distant reaches of the cosmos, beyond the bundles of stars that illuminate the night sky. This scale shows a measure of civilization's technological advancement, mastery over energy, and its own destiny. One might even say it is an ambition indicator of the countless races. With the fast development of artificial intelligence and the human mind, one thought is creeping its way. Can we really become an interplanetary species in the next five years, 50 years, or 100 years? Who can give us the answer? Nikolai Kardashev proposed a categorization of hypothetical civilizations, both human and non-human, based on how much energy they could use in their technology, revealing level 1 to level 3. Along with theorizing energy consumption, this scale also suggests the power of a civilization. How powerful can you become on any assumed level? The more energy it is able to generate, the more power it is able to command over its surroundings. What level do you think humanity has reached already? Can AI help us get to the next stage 10 years from now? Let's examine humanity's current position on the civilization scale and see whether we can accurately predict what lies ahead. According to Kardashev's original scale, we fell below the first category and didn't even make the list. However, astronomer Carl Sagan later modified the scale. He added decimal points to the scale, accounting for the points that separated each level. We're only extremely low down, but this made it possible for little old Earth to make it onto the scale as level zero. On a small blue planet, a species known as humanity labored under the weight of its own ignorance. They had barely grasped the concept of harnessing their home's energy-consuming bounty of nature without understanding the cost. That's what we are now, a type 1 civilization as humanity at around 0.72 level. But what happens next? Can we cure ourselves at the next level, choose the race we want to be, and stop aging? How far can we go up the Kardashev scale? Level 1 at the first planetary level, humanity ventured forth, learning to manipulate the very heart of their planet, the energy. They discovered the secrets of the wind, the sun, and the tides. Cities rose, gleaming with promise, interconnected through a web of innovation and ingenuity. The Age of Enlightenment dawned, ushering in a surge of creativity, art, and science. The humanity in this civilization shares knowledge across borders, and for a brief moment, the specter of unbelievable skills ranges from controlling earthquakes, tsunamis, and gravitation. Genetic engineering developments may make it possible to precisely select for characteristics like gender, eye color, and disease resistance. Does it mean you can be literally anyone you want? To some extent, you do. Human lifespans could be considerably or permanently increased by early advances in anti-aging science, pushing the humanity to speed up the energy consumption and production to the next level of type 2. Complete control over genetic alterations and even biological immortality may be possible with mastery of biotechnology and nanotechnology. Cellular rejuvenation, AI-driven medicine, and advanced stem cell therapies have the potential to fundamentally reverse aging. Bound by a vision of harmony, it's getting easy to reach out to the heavens, yearning for more. Now, you don't need to dig the earth for diamonds, you can produce them with energy. Humans wouldn't need to build power stations or extract oil and fossil fuels. All resources could be sustainably provided. Imagine being able to generate and utilize unlimited solar and wind energy while also harnessing non-renewable sources like thermonuclear energy, produced by nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun and stars. Isn't this the future of the eco-friendly humanity we dream of? Level 2. The thirst for exploration could not be quenched. 
The Level 2 Civilization, also known as Stellar Civilization, expands its dominion beyond the terrestrial bounds. Just imagine you could touch the moon and reach out for the stars. Hence, the new powerful energy is ready to be subdued. Humanity will expand beyond Earth, settling among our solar system's neighboring planets and moons. People will be able to quickly travel across planets to see their loved ones. Freeman Dyson, a theoretical physicist, originated the concept of a Dyson sphere, allowing us to build a system of rings around a nearby star and obtain all its energy for our use. For a species, what would this amount of energy mean? Well, a Type II civilization couldn't be destroyed by anything that science now knows. Just imagine, if you are a level 2 human and a moon-sized asteroid entering our solar system on a collision course with our planet, it could be vaporized out of existence without causing harm. Level 3 It is also known as the Galactic Civilization. The updated civilization of Level 3 learned to harness the energy of their star, crafting megastructures that enveloped the Sun, channeling its power to sustain their growing needs. The real masters will be us. The people that live in this Type 3 civilization, however, can be very different from the modern human race due to thousands of years of evolution. But would everything go smoothly? Lots of power could mean a fight for dominance. Can you imagine a faction unleashing a weapon of cataclysmic proportions, creating a rift that tore through the fabric of space-time? Kardashev did not go past Type 3, because he thought that a Type 4 society was unachievable. However, Helga Kautz, a science fiction author, further developed the Kardashev scale, adding up a number of new levels. And as science proves, his theory is more than possible. Level 4 The new universal type, or Level 4 civilization, is unlocking the secrets of the universe, tapping into the energies of entire galaxies, and shaping reality itself. And that's probably the thing Kardashev already couldn't believe in. With the ability to travel the whole universe and use the energy produced by multiple galaxies, this society would be super galactic. A society of Type 4 would have to use peculiar, or as of yet undiscovered, laws of physics to draw energy from sources that are unknown to us. These superhumans become architects of existence, creating wonders that echo through the void, rekindling a respect for the delicate balance of life. But what will be going on with the job market? For a future this distant, it is nearly impossible to forecast jobs, though some may be more realistic than others. The majority of employment as we know it now will have been automated, taken by computers that might or might not be completely intelligent. However, the energy sector is one that is certain to grow rapidly. There would be numerous jobs available to handle the energy of an entire cosmos. Level 5 Going even further, what could be even more powerful than tapping into dozens of galaxies? Known as a multiverse civilization, a Type 5 civilization can access and use energy from multiple universes, assuming that a multiverse exists. Humans will be able to gather energy from the entire universe. Energy will be obtained by harnessing each micrometer. In addition to being developed, this seemingly limitless energy will be utilized to alter the laws of physics. An unimaginable amount of energy would be required to go multiversal. A Type 5 civilization will probably be looking for white holes at a time. It has been estimated that a white hole can emit energy equivalent to 14 million times that of an average galaxy. This might sound like science fiction, but remember, going to space was also science fiction in the early 1900s, having self-driving cars an impossible technology. Level 6 This level appears to be larger than any science fiction film and much more implausible. The fact that people will be able to illuminate the stars helps to explain the incredible. 
Just think of the Megaverse, where multiple galaxies exist and you are able to be part of it or even a creator. Humans will be able to create and destroy worlds and multiverses with equal ease, and the Type 6 civilization will exist outside of time and space. At this stage, we will practically be gods. What's more, with infinite instances of pasts and futures, and living in endless parallels to the 11 dimension space time continuum, they can also be considered paraversal. Humans cannot be stopped from becoming literally everything unless a civilization at or beyond level 6 fights against humanity. And if such powerful civilizations did exist, what would happen? While many scientists already stopped at Type 6, the next level is also assumable. Level 7 A Type 7 or K7 civilization would travel, transcend, and potentially encompass the Omniverse, which is the collection of every single universe, multiverse, megaverse, paraverse, eleventh dimension, and first realm of reality. Since the civilization would have transcended and merged into a single mind that would encompass all thoughts and all timelines, making it omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient within the boundaries of the eleven dimensions of the Omniverse, it is likely that an individual rather than a civilization would possess such power. Though not to be mistaken with the Creator, the ultimate supreme entity outside of reality, as such a being, if real, is heavenly. At this point, you may think we have reached the upper limit to the Kardashev scale and other scientific level points, but there are arguments for an even greater level of control beyond a Type 7 civilization. A civilization that not only transcends reality, but also becomes part of reality. Essentially, they are everywhere and nowhere. But that's already another story. However, this functional definition of civilization implies that it cannot have a goal or end, since it is based on the principle of accumulating more and more power or energy. Finally, one question must be answered. Will Earth move up this scale? And if so, how much energy is needed? Realistically, we are slowly moving up this scale all the time. The more energy we are able to create and utilize, the nearer we get to becoming a Type 1 society in the eyes of Kardashev and later renditions of the scale. Every time we build a new power plant, we move a bit up the scale. According to some experts, such as futurist Michio Kaku, humanity might arrive at this position within the next 100 to 200 years. It might take thousands of years for Earth to reach the Type 2 stage, and it might take more than 100,000 years for it to reach the Type 3 stage, so most likely not during any of our lives. But who knows? Just think of a few million years ago when we were monkeys, jumping around on trees and eating fruits. Everything is possible. And what do you think? If that's about to come true, would humanity evolve or, given new powers, will fight each other? Can you imagine even one type of civilization harnessing the energy of the universe? Write down your comments below and your personal theories of alien civilizations. Thank you for watching.